society has rules. And the first rule is, you go to college. Mm -hmm. You want to have a happy and successful life? You go to college. If you want to be somebody, you go to college. If you want to fit in, you go to college. There's one more thing. All that stuff about grades is true. You got to work like hell. No kidding. Nobody jokes about grades. I mean, try getting a job without them. It's all stacked against you if you don't have the grades. Don't think you got it made just because you go to Harvard. Maybe I better start studying that. Representations of higher education are pervasive in mass media, and films especially have used higher education as a setting. Making the grade is often a source of stress in these films. Studies have shown that media influences the perceptions, attitudes, and behaviors of those who watch. So how are grades and grading presented in films? As part of the symposium, we invite you to four nights of entertainment and discussion as we turn a critical eye to the representation of grades and grading in major motion pictures. The Paper Chase dramatizes the high-stress, grades-focused environment of the first year at Harvard Law. Real Genius shows us what happens when you mix a group of highly intelligent misfits at a fictional engineering school with the defense contracting industry. Back to School humorously highlights the challenges an adult learner faces returning to college. Accepted shows the lengths to which students are willing to go in order to adhere to societal expectations about attending college. Whether it's a classic montage of students studying, We have exactly three hours for this. Or sitting for and an exam. I believe in the honor system here, boys and girls. That it will be readily apparent to me how many of you have absorbed this material and how many of you haven't. Take one and pass them back, just like your IQ was known. Or interactions with instructors. Our first class, it's good, huh? I just think you better cool it with Dr. Barbet. Dr. Barbet, he don't know dick. He really tells him like it ain't. Yeah, well, you know what he knows how to do? Flunk him. Flunk me? Flunk him! Or ultimately focusing on grades. Theoretically, what I was saying was... Pretty... Hey, don't talk to me, man. Right? This is going to be on the midterm. My whole life is riding on an A in this class. I don't have the kind of mind that can make the grade. They're just grades, Kevin. You know better than that. It's a number, it's a letter, but it determines salaries and futures. There's nobody! Uh, have you seen Mitch? No. 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 He's not in there. How, how'd you do? How'd I do? I passed. But I failed. Yeah. Well, then I'm happy and sad. <laughs> Movies can tell us a lot about how important grades and grading are in society. It's too light. It feels like a C. Bulk it up and add a few multicolored graphs. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I want to write that paper. I'm going to write that paper. See, that's what I'm taking astronomy is to learn something. You're never going to learn a goddamn thing if you got people doing your work for you. Never mind. Kids, they always do things the hard way. So join us for four evenings of entertainment and moderated discussion. Scan the QR code for additional information. We hope to see you at the movies.